I've been writing short fiction and novels for about 10 years now. I no longer have any plans to pursue traditional publishing, but this isn't gonna be a video about problems with the industry or problems with my own writing or how hard it all is or anything negative like that. I wanna lift up other writers as always. I want what I tell you in this video to leave you feeling motivated to go after whatever it is you want from writing, whatever stage you're at. This is a video about how today, right now, I love writing more than I ever have and it's thanks to you, even if this is your first time ever being here. And by the way, if it is, welcome. I'm Kieran, I make videos supporting and encouraging writers to tell their stories and to have fun doing it. And that's what I'm still doing. Even though I've no longer got any plans to get traditionally published, I still love writing books and stories and the craft of writing, and I can't see that ever changing. And as I said, that's because of you, and I really think it is. When I first started making these videos, I was dead set on getting traditionally published any way I could. That was success to me. No other kind of success really existed. There was nothing else I wanted to shoot for. I dare say it's probably the same for a lot of writers. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm not gonna suggest you're wrong for thinking that way. If you do, you're not wrong. But as time's gone on and I've spent more time making these videos and reading your comments and talking to quite a lot of you, I figured out that there was more to success with writing than I initially thought. I've realized that the times I felt the absolute best about what I do didn't come from getting my own work published or from directly achieving things myself. The rewarding stuff all came from you and this channel. I can't believe it's taken me this long to realize that really, but in a way it didn't land clearly until I started doing editing work. And full transparency here, I want to write full time. I want to make a living practicing this craft that I love. And right now I'm not able to do that, but maybe in the future. And editing seemed like something that could help me on my way to that goal. It might bring me a little bit of income, I thought. It would definitely help keep my own skills sharp, but I also hoped it might be rewarding for me. I seriously underestimated how I would feel about working on your stories. I knew that I loved helping writers to learn more about writing. I knew that I wanted to make this channel a supportive and uplifting place because not enough people feel encouraged to pursue crafts like writing. Too many people are told it's too hard, it's too this or too that. We didn't need another place like that. Slightly off topic here, but speaking of what other writers say, quite a few people have told me over the years to try writing stories by hand instead of typing them. So I've been doing that a little bit recently. I wanted to see if it made any difference to my process. I've got terrible handwriting and I hold a pen weird and I haven't written much other than post-it notes since high school really. So I'm interested to see how it goes. And if anyone's interested in the outcome of that experiment, let me know and I'll think about making a video on it. Incidentally, this isn't a sponsored video, but Bastion Pens very kindly sent me one of their bolt action pens to take a look at. The one I have is titanium. It's got a really nice weight to it and it feels really nice quality. It actually helps my handwriting be a bit more legible somehow, which is kind of essential to be honest. They're called bolt action pens because of this mechanism that clicks on and off which is really satisfying to be honest. I've been fiddling with that while I've been waiting for the next sentence to come to me because writing by hand is taking so much longer than typing it out, which is, seems obvious, but I mean really so much longer. I think if I just had a normal biro that was smudging everywhere, I'd probably be making more of a mess in my notebooks as well, but I've used this one plenty and it's really clean and smooth to write with as well. It comes in a little case with a little protector and everything. I take this one back and forth to work with me, so it's really handy that it won't get bashed up. Like I said, this video isn't sponsored, but Bastion did give me a link to put in the description of my videos, which helps support me and my channel. It's an affiliate link. So if you're in the market for a brand new pen and you wanna treat yourself, or you may be looking at getting a writer friend of yours a gift, have a look at the link. There's a bunch of different kinds. But as I was saying, I thought I might be able to bring some value to you with my editing service. And I don't mean that in an arrogant way. I hope you understand, but I have to support and uplift myself in the same way that I want to do for you. So I accepted that I could share my knowledge and that might be valuable to you. What I didn't realize was quite how valuable you would actually be to me. And I want to get one thing out of the way here. I'm not talking about money. I find it really hard to charge for any work I do as a creative person, whether that's sponsorships or editing or anything else. It's a barrier that a lot of us probably have. The imposter syndrome is real. You know, the horrors persist, all of that but I'm slowly trying to get comfortable with it. So you might see more stuff over the channel this year that could potentially bring me 
more income and get me closer to being able to make a living off this. The important thing though, the thing that I wanted to stress is that I'm trying to make a living. I'm not trying to make millions. If I can make enough to get by without a day job, then the amount of writers I'll be able to reach and encourage and help will increase an awful lot. So if you see a few more sponsored videos this year and stuff like that, now you know why. But anyway, that's not the value I'm talking about. I'm talking about you and your goals and working on your stories has made me appreciate writing in a whole other way, I think. It's so strange and interesting and exciting to read work from like new writers, established writers, in between writers, everyone, because every one of you has idiosyncrasies and different ways of approaching things. I see something new every time I sit down to edit and the hours go by really fast. I smile to myself a lot at how one of you structured something or phrased something. There's things that I would never have thought to do myself that work really well. There are loads of little flourishes and moments in your stories. And even if they're not quite where you want them to be yet, they let me know that you're on your way there. And I love to see mistakes. And that might sound weird, but I do. I love to see pitfalls that have caught you out that have also got me in the past and I can give you some context on. Things I can just catch and say, try this. Because if I can give you that message first, then it eliminates the possibility that someone else could read your stuff and say something to you about it. That kind of thing is so hard to bounce back from. And please, please always bounce back. Every story I add it, I see all of your strengths and weaknesses, and it feels great to be able to offer a word of advice, not from looking down at you on high, but from looking across at you. I love that. So pursuing publishing might not be for me. It's not something I'm gonna do again, but I don't think it's a bad thing for you to want or a bad idea. And if that's your goal, I'm not saying you'll have a change of heart or see things differently in time just because I did. I don't think that, I don't know that. What I do know is that whether it's through editing work or through videos or through my website, I've got your back 100%. I've spent the last 10 years or so learning to become a better writer and I didn't realize how much I loved that process, not because I was learning, but also because I was teaching myself. I wanna do the same for you, however I can, in whatever small way I can. Let's get your story written. And when that one's done, we'll do another one. If you've thought about it, let me know in the comments. What's your goal for writing? Is it to get published or is it just to have fun writing for yourself? Do you even have a goal? I'd love to know. But more importantly, I think there's a lot of hidden value in saying it out loud or posting it, I suppose. Let it go out into the world a little bit. So I'll start. My goal is to help as many writers as I possibly can, not to reach their goals or to smash their wildest dreams, but just to get a bit closer to them in any way I can. I want every writer who lands on this channel or on my website to feel like they gained something, even if what they gained was the knowledge that my approach and my advice is not for them at all. That's fine. And I'm still counting that as me helping. And of course, I wanna go full time and I wanna be able to offer a bunch more things that make me an income and also give you something useful too. Writing is hard. We don't have to do it alone. Working with you and making videos for you has helped me really sustain my passion for writing. Editing work, feels like something I could do for a long time if I had the time. I absolutely love helping you bring your stories out into the world. If that doesn't sound too soppy, probably does. I'm a tiny, tiny part of it, I know, but I can't wait to hear about the things that writers watching this video will do or have already done. So in case no one else is, I'm in your corner, I'm rooting for you. Writing is a complex process of ups and downs and messes but it's absolutely worth all the time you put into it. Speaking of messes, try this video next for a different but really easy way to organize your stories. I wish you all the very best of luck and as always, happy writing.